You are listening to Magic 89.9 On Demand on a Thursday. How you doing? My name is Boom. And my name is Zevi. And we are finally at the moment where we are talking to Fifth Harmony and we are talking to Lauren Haregi yes. joining us today. Hello, Lauren. Hello. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hi. It's good to hear you, finally. Uh, it's good to have you on the show. My name is Boom. I'm with Debbie. And uh, your millions of fans uh, from the Philippines of Fifth Harmony have been blowing up our social media, waiting for this interview. So let us get started right now, real quick. First of all, let me say, okay. how, are you, how are you doing right now? Uh, where are the other girls and what's going on at this very moment? Where are you to begin with? <laughs> I am incredible. I am currently in Tokyo, Japan, and um, we're all just chilling out right before a show. We've got um, a show tonight here, really exciting PSA tour Tokyo, and yeah, um, we're all super excited, ready to go, ready to work. How are you guys? What are you doing in this very moment besides well, we are we, we are biting our nails for uh, March six, you know, when yes. you when you swing on over. So we're we're very excited about that. <laughs> and, yeah. and we're actually trending on Twitter right now. Hashtag Fifth Harmony eight nine nine. Yeah, we yeah. are, and because uh, everyone's just like hyped up about it. They're going to be hearing this uh, this this interview, uh, and they're going to be really excited. All right, let's get to some uh, questions from our uh, listeners. If you don't mind answering a few. Mm-mm. Would that be okay? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Yes, okay. So yeah, a, lot of, a lot of our fans... As long as they're appropriate, you know. Oh, definitely. I, I definitely, definitely. Yes, definitely. yes. So, of course, um, <laughs> this is going to be your second time in the Philippines from what we all know. And all of your fans are asking, I mean, did you guys get to go around a lot the last time? The first time. The first time that you came by for your uh, concert here in the Philippines? Um, Not a lot. A lot. We had a day off and I remember I think we drove like nearby to um to a beach but it wasn't like getting to go to an island or something mm. so um I'm, I'm not sure I, I don't know if this time we'll have more time i think i think we might have a little oh, more you time have so to. To do something Please. but i love the philippines the weather is so incredible oh at least have some food here you Our have food is to amazing. you have to also this is of the course per- this is the perfect month yeah 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 definitely have to have some food there yeah this is the perfect what do y'all month? suggest uh, when, when, we'll, we'll give you the suggestions personally, I think, though. <laughs> I, I honestly think, yeah, yeah. You, you, we'll take you up for some, like, Sinigang. Sinigang is amazing. Yeah. Um, but you do have yeah. to. Calm down. Yeah, you do have to go through the islands, at least a couple of them, uh, when you're here. Uh, and, uh, uh. What take, are your favorite? Take some time off. You can go to Palawan. You can go to Bohol. You can go to Shargao. Oh, the list goes on and on. We're 7,000 islands. Mean? Seven? I want to know these names. Give me these names. How do you spell that? All right, sure. <laughs> Palawan. That's P A L A W A N. Palawan. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yes. You say it perfectly. Actually, there's Natural. there's Shargao. If you want Shargao, that's if you like a surfing surf, spot yes. which, uh, with some great people there. Also, great islands, white sand, fine sand. How do you spell that? That's S I A R G A O. S I A R G A. I love that you're really taking note. Yeah, I can't, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm, wait. So is that an S as in Sam? In the yes, beginning? it is. Yes, yes. yes. Shargao. Awesome. Okay. Shargao. And then the last one, what was it? Uh, you can go to a place called Bohol or Boracay. Those are the two very popular ones, also. Bohol. Yeah, Bohol or Boracay. How do you spell those? Uh, Bohol is. <laughs> I love it. No, we'll do it for you. B O H O L. B O H L or you can try Boracay, which is probably the most popular. That's B O R A C A Y. Damn, I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> Amazing. I'm sweating bullets just oh God, spelling. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. Thank like you. a travel agency I here. Yeah, no problem. And, and, just like a travel agency. Yeah. Yes. I appreciate it. So, you know, if, if ever you need help, you, we got you. We got all you. Right, all right. So, of course, um, the fans also want I, to I, I know. Can tell. I can just sit all up. The fans also want to know if there will be a U.S. slash European tour this year. Because we know you are, you guys are closing off this round in Florida. Yep, Orlando, Florida. Um, I am not 100% sure yet because we're just focused right now on the Asian mm-hmm. tour. And um, we got a couple of the little 
things that we're going to be doing as well. Um, but I, as of right now, we haven't routed anything, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, let's talk about the, the album yes. real quick because, oh my, uh, such, uh, great reviews, great response, whether it's critical, uh, you know, the critics or whether it's fan response or music lovers. This third album of yours, uh, the, the third and yet it is self titled mm-hmm. album. What is the story behind this? Why yeah. why did you guys come up with this kind of material? Not that the first two were not good. They were great. Obviously, it puts you in the map. But I feel like the third album like mm-hmm. puts you in another level. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, well, first of all, well, why did I even talk like a New Yorker just then? That was so <laughs> weird. I'm really tired. But first of all, um, we were able to write on this album. I think is the biggest difference from the last album. So you hear more of a personal note and um, our personal voice behind it. Mm-hmm. And we we would get tracks and and be able to write from scratch. And so, you know, we we paired off into different pairs um, right. and switched around in the studio. That's and, interesting. You know, some girls went into whatever vibe they were feeling, particularly if they felt that way that day. And there's just a sort of a freedom and a, an ownership of the creative process this time around that we hadn't had um, the liberty to have in the previous albums. And so I feel like that's why it's genuine. It's definitely the most genuine voice you've gotten out of us since the beginning. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's like it's like delving into new genres aside. Self-titled. Yes, yes. It was delving into new genres aside from the female empowerment pop that we were more used to from the usual sounds. You guys actually went through R and B, dance hall, synth trap, and you guys rapped a bit in Angel as well. So uh, the fans want to know <laughs> if ever you guys might be able, like you and Ali uh, in particular, would be able to rap in Spanish, maybe oh, yeah. at some point. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I would love to rap in Spanish. Right? That would be so cool. Hello, Suna, hit me up. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> They're also asking if we're allowed to know from you yourself, um, what will be the next single off of the self-titled album? Oh, you think you can get that kind of slick? <laughs> Our fingers are crossed. Uh, Our fingers and toes are she, crossed. You know, Debbie, she's not uh, that tired. Uh-uh. She's, not that tired. <laughs> <laughs> she's not that tired. She's not that tired. She's still. Uh... The fans want to hear from you first. Well, we thought we would trade that. Yes. Have to stay tuned. Keep watching. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm, we, we, we thought we should we could trade that information for a little bit of the island information that yeah. we get. I saw. <laughs> it's okay. I it's okay. You. It's okay. Uh, we're, we're doing this for you. This is this is. Tailored towards you. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay, Lauren, uh, real quick here. Uh, you know, it's been what, uh, like three albums, five years later, and all of that. Uh, sometimes there are things that I'm sure. You... EP. Don't forget the EP. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the EP. And sometimes there are things that you kind of take Can't for granted. Yeah, forget gra- that EP, man. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes there are things that you kind of take for granted along the way, touring, guesting, shooting videos, and appearing in all of these uh, award shows, getting awards, racking awards. Um, has it been everything that you've expected, anticipated, or more or less or in, in terms of being in the business? Well, you know what's funny is you when you mentioned all of the things that, you know, we quote-unquote, took for granted, like, the awards, the accolades, the money, the this, the, you know, the touring and all of that. And it's funny because, like, all of that stuff comes to you and that's what, you know, you expect to get to a place where you're like, wow, I'm so grateful that I'm here. And, you know, a lot of the time, of course, I'm incredibly grateful for, you know, the ability to reach out to fans and be able to, like, have our music supported all around the world and to be able to be, you know, to be able to go into rooms with other incredible artists and receive an accolade, like, that's incredible. But also, when I really think about all the stuff I've learned since the beginning of this journey to now, when I think about the moments that really changed me as a human being and, like, helped me grow as a human being, they don't really revolve around any of those things, you know nice. what I mean? And, like, right. maybe maybe definitely impacting humans' lives enough to be able to do all the things we do, that that's definitely stuck with me, but like all the lessons all happen behind closed doors, you know what I mean? And I don't take any one of those for granted, even when they were like difficult to go through, you know? That's mm. awesome. That's an awesome answer. I love that. You know, one of our fans are asking also, um, we, we've written all of these down because they're really good questions. Uh, one of them asked, which aspect yeah. of growth of each member are you most proud of witnessing throughout everything? I think the one, well, I mean, I'm proud of each of them 
in their own individual light because we all started off as, like, young girls, you know? Like, when I met them, and, like, I even speak, like, from a real perspective, like, I was a lot, meant like, older as a spirit, you know what I mean? When I met them, they were a lot, like, younger than me, you know what I mean? Like, they were more sheltered, I feel like, than I was um, from our previous, you know, worlds. And um, it's funny because I've just seen so much growth in each of them. Like, Ali, I've seen go from being, like, a 19-year-old, like, you know, she was going to church and, like, homeschooled and, like, in her own little world with her family. And then she, like, really had to grow up so fast because her parents were taken away from her real quick. Because um, on X Factor, if you were over 18, you couldn't have a parent with you. Mm. And um, so she just, like, delved into this world so cold and, and like, really grew so much in front of my eyes. Like, I'm so proud of the woman she is right now um, and, and the way that she's gone through life and, 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 and explored who she is and, and, and discovered who she is. It's so beautiful to have watched. Same comes for Nirmani, the way she's grown with her confidence, the way that she you know, asserts herself in a room and, and, and is a blooming flower everywhere she goes. I'm, I'm super proud of her for that growth. And then Dinah also, like, when I first met her, she was so shy and quiet, and and she kept herself in, like, a little shell because she felt like, she felt like, you know, nobody really, like, wanted to know the inner her. And then, like, through the process of this harmony, I saw her blossom into, like, this super outgoing, funny, you know, loud, <laughs> like, beautiful woman, outspoken woman, and intelligent woman. And it's so cool just to have seen all of them sprout from where we were. And, like, I'm sure they would say the same for me as well. Like, I I went from being in one place to a totally other one because I grew and learned so much from each of them in their growth process. It's been been incredible, honestly. Wow. I I love that. Can can I just say, I've I've also been binging on you girls' music videos, and I'm just blown away, Mm -hmm. and I totally agree by the growth in all of you girls as uh, as individuals in that group working together. Like, even the visuals, the aesthetics, you you guys have just been, like, hammering it home with, like, how much you guys have only have two minutes and 40 seconds left. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Yeah. And uh, this growth that... Debbie was talking about even in terms of your performance and all of that. It comes into play individually mm. and then it works beautifully when you go back into the group. Which leads me to my next question as we're down to a couple of questions here. Um, y- you guys have your own side projects and it's they're all good. But how does that help the dynamic when you get back together and perform again together and do music again together? How does that dynamic work? Um, I mean, it's just a matter of... Um You know, to be real, again, we were really young when we started on The X Factor. We were 15, 16, 19 years old. And we've all grown so much since then. And and when we all went to The X Factor, we were individual. You know what I'm saying? So the intention was always to pursue our own individual creative visions. And I feel like we just kind of have gone to a place in our lives where we're allowing each other to explore that individual creative vision and and get in touch with who they are individually. Because it's hard to feel like, to be a part of a group for so long and feel like your individualism is taken away from you. You know what I mean? Exactly. And um, that's kind of what happens, though, to be real, when, like, it's not something that you go into as a, as a choice, mm. um, a collective choice. Because, you know, again, we didn't know each other. So we couldn't have possibly chosen that for ourselves together. But we, we together, and what we created together has gotten us to a point where we can now allow each other that agency of exploring ourselves and, and, and doing it in a in a compassionate, supportive light, which is one of the most important parts. It's like, it's like, hey, like, I love what you do, and, and I'm so proud of you for growing and for getting out and, like, getting your voice down and, and expressing yourself, because that's what art is. It's an expression of self. It's an expression of your inner monologue and all of the stuff going on inside of you. And for us, like, all I speak for all four of us, we're all singer-songwriters, you know? We all sing, and we write music, and we understand music, and we love to express ourselves through it so awesome. it's cool I love like listening to each girl and what they've made and and then telling me how excited they are about what they're making and, and it makes me so happy because I've, I've seen us through our whole growth process and it's it, it makes me emotional sometimes to know awesome. that, like, awesome. we're all... Yeah, you sound like it. You sound like it. All right. Love it. One last Love question. It. Go ahead, Debbie. So, of course, since we've um, we've already tackled heartache, women empowerment, um, sexual confidence in your music so far, and you guys just, like, really getting in touch with each other as, individu- uh, as individuals, what other themes would you like to explore now that you're more involved in writing? Um, I'm not sure. I guess... Um 
You know, that's, that's a good question. I feel like that kind of energy just always comes when you go into a studio, though. You know what I mean? It depends on the vibe of the track that's played. It depends on the mm, mood that you're in when you right. walk into a room. Art is so um, fragile like that, you know? It's, it's all about the particular cocktail of the day. It's not necessarily something you can plan. Um, and I personally, I love being moved by tracks or creating a track that make, takes me to a particular kind of place to write from, you know? That's, um, so I guess we just have to explore that and see what that brings Yay! now that we've grown even more since the last time, you know? Yeah. All right. Um, the, the me? Me? Your 15 minutes has ended. All right. The message to your fans, Lauren? Minutes have ended. Um, thank you so much for your love and support. I, we love you. We adore you. Um, uh, I can't even express how much um, we love you. So well, thanks. We know you're tired. We appreciate the time. We appreciate the effort. We'll see you on the islands around here. And uh, sure. kick some ass there in Tokyo. Absolutely. And we'll see you back here Thank in March Thank you again 6th. for your suggestions. You're very <laughs> welcome. Yes. Anytime. Call us anytime for that. All right? All right. Oh, for sure. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, Lauren. Bye. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Lauren Oregi, Fifth oh, Harmony, wow. giving us a lot of uh, a, a lot of very yeah. deep, personal, emotional answers. I, I'm so moved. Yeah, I have like good stuff, feels man. right now for everything that the band has, you know, um, built up so far. I, that actually gets me more psyched for their Black concert right, at right. the Kia Theater coming up on March, March 6th. 6th. Ah. Magic 89.9.